Um, so that takes us to local board input, and there is one request, um, and it relates to agenda item eight, and that's the Auckland Unitary Plan submissions on uh, our submission on four private plan changes at Drury. It's on page 11 of our agenda, um, and we'll go to that item shortly. But uh, ahead of that item, I welcome uh, Chair of the Papakura uh, Local Board, Chair Brent Catchpole, uh, also Deputy Chair Jan Robinson of the Board, uh, and they wish to speak to us about um, our submission, which is referred to under item eight. Now, do I have you on the line, please, uh, Brent and Jan? Uh, I'm here, and I'm not sure whether you can see me, but uh, bear with me if the uh, if the video is not working properly, but uh, hopefully you can hear me. We can hear you, and if you do find how to operate the camera, that would be great, but um, don't delay. Maybe just start with your presentation, Brent. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, just uh, the local uh, Papakura local board is concerned about the proposal for the new metropolitan centre zone in the Kiwi properties plan change. Uh, when Papakura is, is one zone uh, metropolitan area, which is only 3.7 kilometres away from the proposed Kiwi properties one. Uh, the Papakura Local Board has invested considerable funding uh, via the, our commercial projects group chair, chaired by Lee Orton in planning for the future of, of a metropolitan centre in Papakura. And I do note that, um, or I'd like you to note that the uh, metropolitan status for Papakura is outlined in the unitary plan. And one of the things that we're concerned about is that uh, having two metropolitan centres in the south just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. And Papakura has uh, has invested in the, uh, the the planning for the future as a metropolitan centre. Another concern that we have, and I, I would like the planning committee to take some serious considerations around future design for for subdivisions. And one of the areas that has, we've experienced a lot of concerns and we've had it from the police, emergency services and residents of the uh, subdivisions. And that is around the, the road widths. And the minimum road widths that are allowed do not al provide um, good community outcomes, especially when you have cars parked on site um, well, on the road because there is insufficient parking on site for these properties and there is the, consequently no visit to on site uh, visitor parking or on road visitor parking. And this uh, creates huge problems with, with people parking on footpaths, berms and making it impossible for um, mobility uh, mobility impaired people and pedestrians to uh, easily walk the footpaths, which which then creates a health and safety issue. So with cars, um, with the, with these cars parked on the road, narrowing the, to the point where rubbish removal and emergency vehicle access is seriously impaired. So that's an area that I know it, um, it's not an easy fix, but it's one I think we, uh, council needs to seriously look at and and give it some serious consideration to uh, to overcome the issues that we've experienced over the last 10 years. So uh, further on, I'd uh, also, the Papakura Local Board would like to um, advocate for the importance of green spaces, uh, given the intensification of the areas and issues that staff have said that pocket parks are basically uh, not acceptable because of the ongoing OPEX costs, and yet there is no place for the children to run and play off street. So, you know, there's another area that needs to be uh, taken into consideration when this particular, these particular plan changes are uh, considered. We also seek uh, for the retention of many trees as possible. Uh, we are about to begin our work on the urban Nahiri project, 
And we note that Papakura has 13% tree coverage, which is very low in comparison to other parts of Auckland. So uh, another area of, of consideration. And if I may be a little cheeky and respectfully ask that the planning committee consider adding the Papakura local board chair to the subcommittee or subgroup formulating the council sub submission on the private plan change. And I ask that uh, in seriousness, but uh, with a little bit of cheek in it as well. And I thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Brent. Nothing like some cheek. Yours is always polite, so we can receive it. Um, now, those key points, uh, just um, I'll go over them. Uh, questions about the um, elevation of a Drury major centre over Papakura, street Metropol design. Metropolitan and centre, it is. Yep. Metropolitan centre. Um, street design and accessibility. Um, we do have the roads and streets framework in place, and very soon the transport design manual. A green and open spaces, tree coverage, and consideration of your name going under, um, I think it is, um, the, the motions before us. Okay, um, I'll take questions soon, Brent. Brent, can you, before I do so, can you formalise uh, quite quickly uh, in writing what you've presented um, through to Christopher um, Turbot, isn't it? Uh, Christopher Turbot, on behalf of your board. Would you do that, please? Will do, yes. Thank you. I'll go to questions, Brent, just a minute. Uh, questions, please, and Deputy Mayor first. Thank you, um, Councillor Darby. And thanks, Brent, for your presentation. I agree with you completely on the narrow streets policy. They work in some areas, but they certainly do not work on the outer suburbs or in the provincial towns. They're a disaster. They really are. Um, so I completely agree with you that, and we've already made submissions to Auckland Transport and to our planning divisions on numerous occasions with the Franklin Local Board about the same thing. The question I have is your concerning concern about the uh, closeness of Papakura to the Drury um, centre, the competition that that would inevitably bring. And congratulations to the Papakura Local Board for the work it's did on its, you know, what could a invigorated Papakura look like. At, the very, at this point in time, Brett, um, is it much capital development going on in Papakura, and do you have a quantum of that? Uh, well, obviously, things have, have stalled somewhat over the, the last few months, but there's uh, a number of large developments that are happening. Um, one about to happen on the, um, the old New World site, and... Um, and there is another one uh, just happening opposite the uh, the Papakura local board office. Okay, thanks. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Are there other questions? There being none. Just, uh, sorry, Mr. Mr. Chair. Just just yes. uh, to add to that, um, we, we would be very much appreciative if Panuku actually uh, came on board with us to give us further assistance with it as well. It's uh, It's been a real struggle without um, Panuku's assistance. Your, uh, sorry, their assistance for supporting you on your Papakura focus. That's what yes. you... Yes. 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 Okay, look, um, I'll make sure that's conveyed from me through to Panuku as well. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brent, and thank you to your board uh, for being active in this, and you will formalise your submission with Christopher um, Turbot. Thank you for that. Will do. We'll get it through to you later on today. Good. Councillor um, Angela Dalton, would you like to move receipt, please? Yes, thank, thank you. you. And is Councillor Newman with us as yet? No. No? Okay. Uh, do I have a second? I'm, I'm happy to second, Mr Chair. Councillor Fletcher, thank you. So uh, I will move, it's moved and seconded. Uh, all those in favour say aye. 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 To, aye. The, to the contrary, no. And declare that carried. Thank you. That completes our local board input. Um, there are no extraordinary items notified, which takes us to item 